it's that time again. Welcome to the best webinar in town. Human Way Live. Let's introduce your host from the windy city of Chicago. Chicago, currently sheltering in place, please welcome Human Wear's brand ambassador of blindness products, Peter Tucson. And from all the way across the pond, also sheltering in place, but doing so with everyone's favorite accent, please welcome Human Wear's Braille product manager, Andrew Flatry. Hey, Andrew. How you doing? Hey. Hi, Peter. How you doing? I had some technical <laughs> difficulties again. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know no. if anyone could listen, if anyone heard the intro. Did you hear the intro? I certainly heard the intro. Oh, it sounded okay. very, very clear, but uh, definitely was a different sound quality. So I don't know <laughs> what was going on. But you know what? We don't need an intro. The intro needs to be updated anyway. So if you didn't hear it today, life goes on we're golden we we're gonna we need to change the intro because we're no we're moving out you know of the uh of the old shelter in place style so we need to we need to give it an update yeah we do all right welcome everybody to humanware live it is thursday june 4th and we are here to talk about the victor reader trek slash stream everything i talk about will be doable on both the second gen stream and the victor reader trek so i'm going to be using a trek for this demonstration uh, but that does not mean that you cannot use your second generation victor reader stream i am peter tusik brand ambassador of blindness products for humanware i am with mr andrew flattress hello everyone is here and Andy is across the pond as we know. I know we had a lot of people registered, so I think uh, I think we have we have people who are in anticipation uh, for that second gen stream we're going to give away at the end of this. So that'll be awesome. So we'll do another drawing at the end of the webinar. We hope that you will win, whoever you are. And Andrew's even got his drum roll ready to go. So we're yeah, there. I'm all prepared. I'm all prepared today. Peter. <laughs> no, no more technical difficulties. Hopefully not. Right. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to dive in um, and I'm going to talk today about using the online, really we're, we're focusing on the online bookshelves. Um, I'm going to be talking about Wikipedia and Wiktionary, I'm going to be talking about podcasts, and I'm also going to be talking about internet radio. Um, I'll be talking about moving content from your internal memory to your SD card. Uh, remember when I did this previously, I talked about bookmarks. Um, I talked about how to work with Bookshare. We did a lot of those sorts of pieces. So if you need a refresher on bookmarks and highlight bookmarks and all that good stuff, please refer to the previous episodes that are archived, which I also demonstrated how to find our archived web uh, webinars in a previous episode. So we're trying to cover all of our bases, uh, but I'm going to jump in and we're going to look at and talk about the online bookshelves. I do have a camera for somebody who is light dependent. Um, we're using my good old document camera that is not necessarily a webcam. So bear with it. It is what it is. And uh, the video is spotlighted. So if you are live, you will see the camera. If you are watching this or attempting to later, you will not have the camera as it is not uh, part of the recording. This is the camera is the live camera. So uh, what I'm going to talk about is how we're going to get in and actually look and work with our pieces of the puzzle with the online bookshelf. So first thing I need to share my screen and we're going to do that very quickly. And once I share my screen, you will hear my sound. Give me one moment. And Andrew, you're going to tell me if you can hear this. Started. Did you hear that? Uh, yes, I did. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's mute our speech. Space, speech on demand. All right, so I am going to um, gonna talk about the kind of how we walk through this and we're gonna start with Wikipedia and we're going to go from there. So remember on your Victor Reader, uh, if you're using the second gen stream or the Victor Reader Trek, the button above the number two, so you will have a circular button. This is the button that will toggle you between your offline and online bookshelves. On the Victor Reader Trek, there is a third layer added and that would be orientation. So I am going to press that button above the number two to move to my online bookshelves. I will know I'm on my online bookshelves if I hear the internet radio sort of, um, you know, and, and podcasts and that sort of thing. If you hear notes, 
when you're hitting the number one to move between your bookshelves and you hear that it says notes and maybe some other things, you are not on the online bookshelves. You are looking at your SD card. So I'm gonna hit that middle button above the number two, shaped like a circle. Orientation. Here's orientation. GPS ready. We're gonna hit it again. Offline bookshelves. Here's offline. Notes, 25. Online and bookshelves. And hit it again, we go to online. References, zero. Files. Now, search on Wikipedia. When you press that circular button, you move between your offline and online bookshelves. Once you're on your online bookshelves or offline, but remember the number one is gonna move us through the available bookshelves at that level, depending on the services we have turned on. And I talked about this last time when we looked at how we enable the Bookshare service um, through the menus, right? We use the number seven. How do we enable the NLS Bard service or how do we enable NFB Newsline? That if once enabled, those bookshelves will appear or and if not enabled, you will not have those bookshelves. So if I press the number one. NLS Bard. Repeatedly. Podcasts. 27. NFB Newsline. Bookshare. 4. Internet Radio. References. You hear zero. the bookshelves Files. that I have available. Search on Wikipedia. So again, every time I pushed the number one, we heard the bookshelves that were currently available. I have NLS Bard. I'm here in the States. Uh, I have NFB Newsline, podcasts, internet radio, and so on. If you don't have any services enabled, you will have podcasts, you will have internet radio, and you will have references. Those would be your, your standard online bookshelves that come with the unit built in. And we're going to look at those three today. So the very first piece of this is the references bookshelf. And I think a lot of times um, it isn't super clear on what this, what this kind of means. And I don't know how many people utilize Wikipedia um, to kind of run down the Wikipedia wormhole, if you will. I know probably all of us at some point or another in, in time have gotten stuck on Wikipedia and it's been very fun. And you look, you know, at the time and it's like two hours have gone by and you realize you're reading about how to jar pickles or how to uh you know about like bridges in nairobi or something wild right you go down these very very cool sort of um educational journeys or just for fun sort of journeys and you start reading all kinds of information and we can access wikipedia here on the stream slash track. So once you push that number one key and once it says references, your first option here says search on Wikipedia. Now, if I press the six key, I will also have search on, search Wiktionary. on Wiktionary, which we'll talk about. That would be a, a dictionary of sorts. It's kind of a user defined sort of dictionary that is, that is there, but we're going to look at Wikipedia. So I'm going to press my six key again. Again, we're moving left or right. You could press four or six to move through your bookshelf, and that's true for any bookshelf. Once you get to it, four and six move you through the options. I'm going to press my six key. Search on right. Wikipedia. Once we hear search on Wikipedia, we are going to search for something. I'm going to press confirm. So again, confirm is the key to the right of zero. Um, many of us might call this the pound key, but confirm is to the right of zero. I'm going to press confirm. Enter text to search. And I am brought to the place where it says enter text to search. Now, this is where you're using that numeric keypad to enter in text. I talked previously um, in, in episodes of how we type and enter text. We use the numeric keypad to do so. When you are in this mode, if you want to learn what letters do, what you can do is you can turn on key describer, key describer on. by holding the oval button below the number zero the oval button, the sleep timer button. When you were in a text field, if you want to know what, what, when you push a number, what letter will be associated with it, you can press and hold that oval and turn key describer on. So that if I press the six key, I hear M. N, O, I six. hear what, what keys it would be, M, N, O, and six. Meaning if I push it once it's M, twice it's N, three times it's O, four times it's six. If I push the seven key, we will hear, P, Q, R, S, 7. And so on, right? So if you're unsure of what a key does, pressing it in key describer mode will tell you exactly what that is. And you can, you can look at that. Now I'm going to turn key describer off by pressing and holding. Again, this is specific to when I'm in a text field, such as this, uh, where, where I'm entering text. I can turn on that key describer feature. I'm going to press and hold my sleep timer button, which is the oval. Key describer turn off. That off. I'm going to search for Chicago, right? So I pressed confirm on search on Wikipedia. We're going to search for Chicago. That is where I live. That is where I have grown up. That is where I will always live. So I'm going to search for it. So we're going to type in C-H-I-C-A-G-O. 
C. Now, what H. you'll also notice is that you heard that click. So you want to wait for the click if you have it set this way, or you want to enter your, enter your next letter, especially if it's on the same key. So I. A I. Two. C. I do A G O. A G. And I'm going o. to press confirm. And it will search for Chicago. Found results. 50. 1. Chicago. Chicago. Slash go slash. Listen. Locally also slash go slash. Officially the city of Chicago is the most populous city in the U.S. state of Illinois. And. Press play stop to read the complete so article. So we hear that it brings up the search results. And the first one here is the article on Chicago. And if I want to move to my next result, I could press my six key to move to the second result, third result, and so on. My six key will move me forward through each numerically, each result. If I press my four key, I would be moving through the left, right? Backward through each item. So when I find an article I want to play, we're just going to look at this first article. I can press my play button and I will immediately start to read the article about Chicago. And what happens once we're playing this is, Please wait. It, once it starts playing. Main article. List of nicknames for Chicago. It, what I can do is I can use level navigation to quickly jump through. So, you know, in Wikipedia, everything is broken up by sections. You might have, for instance, if it's a, a celebrity, maybe you have their date of birth, and then you might have a section that says early life, a section that says achievements or career or death or notable works or whatever it is. We can move through those sections just like we do when I talked about Bookshare using level navigation. So your two and eight keys move you up and down through your various levels. Wikipedia gives us a lot of level navigation. So if I go to level three, for instance, I can then jump forward or backward by that level, just like we do in an NLS Bard book, in any DAISY book, uh, to be able to read content quickly. So I'm going to press, press the number two. We'll see what level I'm at. Here's screen. screen. I'm going to keep pushing two to come up to level three. Level four. Level And now I'm three. at level three. Again, two and eight move you up and down from your levels, and the levels determine how you're navigating through your book. There is no rhyme or reason for what they do. You have to explore. Some books you'll find have one level, and that's just the way they were uploaded, the way they were created. Some books may have two or three levels, and you're, you might navigate at level two to go through chapters, or level three to go through subsections. Here, if I'm on level three, for instance, and I push my six key, History, history, edit, further information, beginning, six edit, again, tradition, 19th, 19th century, century, edit, six again. the location, 20th and 21st right. centuries, edit, men outside a soup kitchen during, so again, I can, I just push pause to stop that from reading, but you can jump through your various sections by using six and four, so now I'm moving through the set level three, and you're hearing that I'm jumping through those sections, and level two might give me different divisions, level four will give me more specific divisions, right, and so on, so you can certainly do that, you can also insert a bookmark in this, just like we talked about previously, right, that diamond key above the number three, gives us the ability to insert a bookmark, use highlight bookmarks. Um, we can go into our bookmark list. And if you need references there, you're going to want to refer to that episode of Human We're Live where we dug into working with bookmarks. Now, what I can also do here is I can save this article. So let's just say right now it's not saved. I'm, I'm looking at it or I'm browsing it, I'm reading it, but it's not actually on my device. If I want to save this Wikipedia article, I wanna come back and read about Chicago later. And I really want to dive deep and maybe search for some certain text and try to find a, a reference or whatever it may be. I can press the number three when I'm reading an article. Save current and book. And it will say save current book. And in this case, the book being this article. So if I press confirm, it will save this onto my bookshelf. So I'm going to press confirm. Again, the number three is what you want to push when you were in this book, uh, in this article. You can then save it. Book I hit save. confirm, and now it is saved on my references bookshelf. So again, this is how we can easily, easily search for and look through Wikipedia content. If I want to get out of this, I can hit cancel, or I can generally just push the number one, and you'll come back up to the top of your bookshelf. Online bookshelves. References. One. File. One. Wikipedia. Chicago. And you hear now that when I went to my references bookshelf, it said there was one file here because I saved this file. I saved uh, the, the Wikipedia 
article about Chicago and now I can view it later if I'm offline or I'm on the bus or I'm somewhere, right? Trying to, um, to fall asleep, <laughs> whatever it may be that I'm doing, I will be able to then view this later. Now we can also, you heard there was one book, we heard Chicago. If I use that six key, remember, I will see search on Wikipedia. Search on Wikipedia. Search on Wiktionary, because now there are three items here, because one is that file that I had saved. I'm gonna press six again. Search on Wiktionary. Right, if I press confirm, I can search for a word on Wiktionary. We're just gonna look, look one up very quickly. Enter text to search. Well, Chicago. We're not look up Chicago. C -H -I -C -A -G -O. Now, C-H-I-C-A-G-O. Remember that when I want to erase what is in a text field, we talked about this a couple of times, if you want to clear this text field out, you're going to use the rewind key, the, the left triangle sort of shaped key to the left of the play pause button. I'm going to push and hold that key to clear this text field because I don't want to search for Chicago. We get that noise, that high pitched bink sort of noise telling us that it has been cleared. Remember, if I just were to tap that, I would delete individual letters. I would be backspacing out individual letters and I don't want to do that. So I've cleared this text field. Let's search for the word impossible. So I'm gonna type in impossible, I-M-P-O-S-S-I-B-L-E. You will hear me pause on the S's because they're on the same key. So I, M, I, M, O, P, S. O. P. We're going to wait S. for the click because I need to enter another S. I. S. B. I. L. B. E. L. And press e. confirm. And we will search for impossible. Found results. 50. 1. Impossible. Slash MPSBL slash hyphenation. Impossible, impossible. Comparative more impossible. Superlative most impossible. Not possible not able to be done or happen. Press play stop to read the complete article. And again, article. we see the same exact sort of method here. The slashes, again, it's a little difficult because those are pronunciation sorts of pieces, right? Your schwa symbol and others, uh, giving you the sounds, which is a little difficult to do with synthetic speech. Um, you're not going to really get that sort of piece from this, but what you will get is your definition. You can do the same thing. You can play this, you can save it by pressing the number three once you are in the book. So if I press three here, nothing One, happens. Impossible. Because One, impo I'm not One, in the book. Impossible. Slash MPSBL. If I hit play. Contents one English one dot one alter. Save current. Now book. I can hit three and actually save the book. You need to be in the book or in in the you know the article to save it. That's what's most important here. If you want to save it for later. All right. Going to, again, quick overview of Wiktionary and Wikipedia. Certainly can be a lot of fun, especially if you've never accessed Wikipedia before. You really can learn a lot and it's very useful and it's very neat to be able to read about all sorts of things. Um, I like to look up, you know, celebrities or, or I look up very strange things like monetary systems. I don't know, something you might find fascinating. I was a history major. Uh, so I will look up all sorts of things and, and just go down down the spiral, right? And really, really read about all sorts of, of, uh, of interests. So that can be very, very useful. I am uh, going to come back up into my bookshelves list. We're going to look at podcasts at this point. Uh, and I'll talk about how we work with podcasts. So pressing the number one to go to my podcast. Online bookshelf, NLS bar, podcasts, 27. Podcast feeds, 26. White Sox Weekly, radio.com. Right. Two, new so episodes. So we hear a couple of things, and I have 27 podcast feeds here. You might have 72, or who knows how many you may have. But what you're hearing is that I'm focused on the 26th one, and, and we're going to talk about how we add podcasts. A podcast, for somebody who isn't familiar, is basically a, an on-demand radio show. Essentially, that's what it is. They're very thematic. Um, you will see here, I'm an unapologetic, diehard Chicago White Sox fan. Uh, I have season tickets. I love them. I miss them. Um, and I listen to podcasts about them and dream of their coming back to play here on the south side of Chicago. But you can find podcasts about anything. Uh, blindness, we have our Humanware podcast, which we're going to look at when we talk about podcast management. But you can subscribe to podcasts, essentially, that will really, really run the gamut. Um, anything you can 
imagine under the sun. And podcasts are something that people really connect with because they are so thematic and you can search and, and add them, you know, different shows or we have suggested podcasts at Humanware that you might be interested in that are blindness specific, um, news specific, you know, ver various podcasts there that we do create. So when I'm here, the most important thing is when you first come, you will have an add podcast feed option. Now, if you don't know how to add a podcast, you could always use four or six and move through your podcast list until you find the add podcast option, or you can press the go to key. So the go to key being above the number one, if I push that go to key one time, go to podcast this would be feed. to go to a specific podcast feed. So if you know that, let's say, Blind Bargains Audio is the third is, is the third podcast feed you have, or White Sox Weekly is the 26th, you could go to that specific podcast feed. What I want to do is press the go to key again. So again, I'm going to push that square key above the number one one more time. Add podcast and it will say feed. add podcast feed and I will press confirm. So again, confirm to the right of zero. Title search. And we hear that we have different ways of searching. We can search for a specific title. So if there's a specific podcast we'd like to add, we can certainly do that. If I press my eight key, I will move down, just like in Bookshare, through the different ways of searching. Browse we by category. We can also browse by category. So again, I pressed eight. We see that there's title search or browse by category. Humanware suggested podcast. If I push podcast. eight again, English North I hear the Humanware suggested podcasts. And this would be suggested podcasts that we at Humanware uh, maybe think you may be interested in when you're first getting up and running. Um, so we're going to look at those in a moment and you hear that it says English North America because we have different suggestions, right? If you buy a unit and you're located in a different part of the world, we're not just going to give you English podcasts. Um, we're going to give you podcasts related to, to, you know, where you are, um, in, in the, in your region, so to speak. So if I want to look at these again, if I press eight again, I come back title to title search. search. So let's press two or eight and let's move to where it says suggested podcasts. Humanware suggested right. podcast. Going to press English confirm. North America. And when I press confirm, it will pull up my podcast list. The same way if I searched for a podcast or if I picked a category, it would tell me the same thing. It's going to bring up a list of podcasts. And you're going to use your six and eight keys and your, I'm, I'm sorry, your two and eight keys to move up and down. Your six and eight keys move left and right. If you're not sure how to navigate a list, push one of those keys and you will move in a direction. If I hit six here, nothing happens meaning I should probably be using two and eight to move through these options. So I'm going to press confirm on the suggested playlists here. Please wait. Found results. 38. Select a podcast feed and press confirm to subscribe. One. Victor Reader stream and Humanware information. Humanware. Now that very first podcast is our very own podcast, and that is where these episodes are found. They are uploaded there. They are archived here. Um, and that's where you can hear... Myself and Andrew just having a ball, right? Um, or anything else we, we put up over the course of the years that, that will be found here. Now, in this list, these are suggested podcasts. These are suggested podcasts. If I press eight and try to move down the list, nothing happens. If I press two, nothing happens. So that tells me as a user, well, I'm going to use six or four to move left and right through this list. I'm going to press the six key. Two. 1A. NPR. All right. So again, suggested these are, this is some national public radio. I will use my six key and move through search results or move through these results or move through categories, whatever it is. Once I find a podcast I might be interested in, I can press the five key to get a synopsis of that podcast if one is available. So if I press five on this NPR podcast, much like the same on a Bookshare book or an NLS Bard book, I'm going to press five. Less than I'm greater than one a less than slash I'm greater than is home to the national conversation. The show frames the best debates with great guests in ways to make you think, share, and engage. Two. One a. All right. NPR. So again, this is telling me it's just some podcast, and you get a description about you know what that podcast contains. If I want to subscribe to it, I press confirm, and I will be subscribed. Um, and again, these will then download when new episodes are available. The default will be three episodes at a time. Your, your most three current episodes will be available. So if I want to subscribe, I press confirm. And I will be subscribed. You are subscribed to a new podcast this feed. feed. Two. One right? So again, it's very, very straightforward in terms of subscribing.
Now, that can be done in many ways, and you will find podcasts that you enjoy. You will find some you don't enjoy. I'll show you how to unsubscribe, and hopefully this will be something that will give you lots and lots of ideas and just fun things and ways to consume content, and that's what our goal is. Now, I'm going to press the number one and come back to my podcast bookshelf. Online bookshelves. Podcasts. 28. Podcast feeds. 1. 1A. Now, NPR. you're hearing that it says... 28 podcast feeds. Add podcast and feed. 28. Be, 20 remember before 26. White Sox talk podcast. I had NBC Sports Chicago. Before I had 27. Three new episodes. So again, I had 27 before. Now I'm up to 28 because I've subscribed to the NPR podcast. Now these are in alphabetical order. So your number one will be the first letter sort of, you know, they'll go in, in alphabetical order. That is how they are sorted, just so you're aware. Once I find a podcast in my list, so I push the number one key, I get to the podcast bookshelf. Maybe I have some feeds there. I use four and six to move through them. And when I find a podcast that I want to listen to, so let's just come to the humanware one. 25. Victor Reader Stream and Humanware Information North America. Humanware. This is, let's just say I want to, I want to listen to these episodes. So I press confirm to go into the list of episodes that are downloaded on my device. So I'm going to press confirm. Three episodes. One. Humanware live with Victor Reader Trek the 21st of May 2020. All right. Now, we hear that it says Humanware Live and we can, again, sometimes these descriptions we can change. If you want a synopsis, you can press five to hear what the episode is about. And if I want to play it, I can press play. So again, this is the part of the program where I have to hear my own voice or whatever it is, but we're going to do that. I'm going to press play and I'm going to slow the speed down and I'll talk about how we do that as well. Nemeth code, full Nemeth code. So I was listening to this one and you'll hear that that's my voice very fast. So I've thought about doing the webinars that fast and saying, all right, everybody, welcome to Human Live. I really want to have a chance to get to know everybody today and we're going to have a great time, but I don't do that, right? But when I listen to things, um, I certainly like to float that speed up pretty high and consume content fast. If you want to slow it down or speed it up, use your power button on the left side of the device. Every time you tap that power button, speed, tone, volume, you will toggle speed. through your options. When you have it set to speed, then you would use your volume down key to slow it down. Speed, one. Until you hear that beep, now you're at normal speed. And now if I hit play, you will hear the speed is normal. WEB working with scientific calculations, all sorts of fun stuff. Looking oh, at the sounds so fun. I love hearing myself talk. Just kidding. I don't. I really don't. Um, but the point here is we're able to adjust that speed. We're playing an episode. If we want to come out of this and back into our podcast list, just, you know, you can push that one key. Online bookshelves, podcasts. And I'm going to hit confirm on this podcast, podcast feed again. 23 episodes. One. So Human now, where live with Victor Reader, track the once you are in a list of, of episodes, you can use your six key. Podcast download. We just heard completed. that my NPR podcasts are starting to come in. I can push the six key and actually find the other episodes. So again, I should have three here. If I hit my six key, we'll hear the next episode available. Two. Human where live with Victor Reader, track the fourteenth of May two thousand twenty. Awesome. And and so on. If I want to, let's just say remove one of these episodes, right? I, I'm done listening to it. It will be automatically deleted once the newest episode downloads, for instance, or eventually, because if you, you can change how many podcasts you would like to have at a time in your menus, so using your seven key. But if you want to manually delete an episode, if you press your three key, you will have some different options. Again, I'm not playing the episode right now. I'm looking at my list of available downloaded episodes, and I'm pressing the number three on a particular episode. So when I press three, Delete episode. You can delete this episode. And more importantly, if I press three again, move episode to SD. We can move this episode to the SD card. Maybe we want to save it for whatever reason. We're enthralled with it, right? We, we want to take it with us to another machine um, or we want to save it for someone to hear. It will be saved. You know, we, we can do that. If I press three again, prevent auto delete of episode. This is where you could save it really here in your online bookshop. So you can prevent it from automatically being deleted when new episodes come in. So again, pressing three will always give you these sorts of options. Now I want to delete this episode. So I'm going to press three until I get to delete. Delete episode. Right? And I'm going to press confirm. 
going to press confirm. If I want to delete, if I wanted to, whatever I wanted to do, delete or move it or anything, press and confirm will activate that option. So I press three until I hear the option that I want, press confirm, which is to the right of zero. Human where live with Victor Reader Trek the 14th of May 2020. Press the confirm key to confirm or any other key to cancel. And now it's saying if, if you really want to delete it, press confirm again. You will confirm that deletion. Press any other key to cancel. I'm pressing confirm. Episode deleted. Boom. Two. Episodes. One. Human now, where live with Victor Reader Trek the 21st of May 2020. All right. So the this episode, I want to move to my SD card. Same sort of process. I'm going to press three until it says that move it to SD. Delete episode. Move episode to SD. And I'm going to press confirm. Press the confirm key to confirm or any other key to cancel. And what it will do is it will move this to my SD card. Moving episode. Please wait. 99%. Move completed. Now it's done. One. Human where live with Braille the 12th of May 2020. Still again, you can move the episodes to your SD card. Podcast download completed. You're hearing those download again. Anytime a new episode downloads, you can turn that off in your menus. If you don't want to hear every time a new episode comes in. Um, but Again, it will it will will give you a notification when a new episode is available of a podcast. Now, if I want to unsubscribe from a podcast feed, I'm going to come back to my podcast bookshelf. So, I'm going to press the number one, and it's going to say podcast online bookshelves podcasts twenty eight right. podcast so I push feeds one until I get twenty five. Victor Reader Stream and Humanware Information North America. All right now, Humanware. let's just say I want to unsubscribe from the Humanware podcast. I'm sick of it. Peter has not taught me a thing. He is just babbling every week. I have had enough of these episodes. If I want to unsubscribe, I find the episode or not the episode, but the feed in this list. So you find the feed. Don't go in and look at the episodes, but actually find the feed you want to unsubscribe from and press the number three. So again, I'll use four and six to move through my list of subscriptions that I have. 24, 25, 26, and so on. What? 25. Here's the one Victor I want to delete. Reader, stream and Humanware Information North America. I press Humanware. three. So when I press the three key. Unsubscribe from podcast feed. I will now be able to unsubscribe. Delete all episodes from this feed. If I press three again, I have delete all episodes from this feed. So if I want to delete all, all of the new episodes or anything in there, I can do that. Move all episodes to SD. I press three again. I can move all the episodes at once to the SD card if I wanted to. So if I had three in there, three of the newest, I can move them all in one motion. Unsubscribe from podcast we feed. We are going to unsubscribe. I'm going to press confirm. Victor Reader Stream and Humanware Information North America. Humanware. Press the confirm key to confirm or any other key to cancel. And I press confirm again. Podcast download completed. So confirm. Podcast feed unsubscribe. And boom. 27. Podcast feeds. 25. White Sox. 26. So again, White Sox Weekly. A lot of White Radio. Sox going com. on here. Two. But new episodes. You will also hear if new, new episodes are available. So if you want to, you're thinking, gosh, something downloaded, I want to look. That is where you'd find. Go through your feeds and see if there's anything new. Um, podcasts, some update every week, some update every day, some to update multiple times a day or once a month. So it, it really will depend on what's going on. All right. Again, a look at podcasts. Now you might say, well, where do those go? When I move them to the SD card, how do I find them? Right? Where, where do they live? I, I saved them, but gee, I don't know where they go. And if you want to find where they're moved to, you need to go look at your offline bookshelf. So I'm going to press my uh, button above the number two. Again, that circular button. Let's go to the offline bookshelf. Orient offline bookshelf. I'm going to press the one Notes. key. One book. Talking books. Other books. Saved podcasts. One episode. One. Victor Reader Stream and Humanware Information North America. 28 Humanware Live with Victor Reader Trek the 21st of May 2020. And again, MP3. it gives me this episode in its own bookshelf called saved podcasts and it is now an mp3 and it is living here again if i want to get rid of it i don't want it on the sd card anymore i press the number three delete episode and let's delete it victor reader stream and you episode deleted I just push pound notes. again 25 and now it's gone notes one online bookshelves. All right, coming back to our podcasts. online bookshelves 27 podcast feeds 26 white Sox weekly radio.com okay Two. 
new episodes. What we're going to do, so again, really dove into podcasts here. Strongly encourage you to look around, find one that works for you, find, find some podcasts you like. Um, they are fun and useful. We're going to look at internet radio. Um, the Victor Reader Stream Second Gen and Victor Reader Trek give you the ability to stream internet radio stations. Uh, we do not control those stations. It's very important. If you're getting lots of please waits, um, if the station is unavailable in your area, a lot of streaming radio can be affected by your geographic location. The server looks at where you are, you know, in terms of where you're trying to stream from. They'll say, nah, you can't stream this game. Sorry, you're, you're in the area. You need to put it on the regular radio. Or the feed may be broken. And our radio stations come from OO tunes. You need to go through OO tunes if you want to change or ask or inquire about a stream. And that is, that is what you'll need to do. I'm going to press the number one until I get to internet radio. NFB News Bookshare. Internet radio. Two. Playlists. One. Favorites. Now, when you first start this, you will have one playlist. You'll, you will have favorites. You will also have a humanware suggested, much like we do with the podcast. We give you some suggested radio stations that you might want to listen to just to get you familiar with how this works. So again, when you're on this bookshelf using six and four moves you through your different options. If you want to search for a radio station, if you want to search for a radio station, much like searching for a podcast or a Wikipedia or, you know, or whatever it is, we can press our go-to key. So the go-to key, when I hit it once, go to playlist. Here's go to playlist. You can import playlists. That's for a whole nother day. Um, and that's for some very advanced sort of users, but I'm going to press the go-to key again. Search on Utoons. And we're going to search on, it says Utoons. It's OO tunes, Utoons, right? So let's press confirm. Browse by genre. And you can, again, browse in different ways. Maybe you want to search for different genres or categories of, of radio stations, sports, news, talk, rock, R&B, hip hop, whatever it may be, ta uh, anything, classical. Um, but if I, I'm in this list, again, I'm going to press six, nothing happens. Nothing, 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 nothing. Remember, that tells me, okay, I can't move left and right. I need to move up and down through these options. So I'm going to press the eight key. Search by name. Here's search by name. Browse by genre. And browse by genre. Those are your two choices here. Search by name. So search by name is search for a string of text. And generally that is where you would search for call letters, for instance, BBC or something. But here in the States, you might search for W something. We're going to search for a news radio station here in Chicago called WBBM. And if you ask my wife, she will tell you that I have this station on all the time, even though they say, say the same thing over and over and over and over and over, but it's background noise. So yes, I want to hear the traffic every 10 minutes. Why? I don't know. But let's press confirm. Enter text to search. And again, we get an enter text to search option. So we're going to be able to type in any string of text we want to search for. This station is called WBBM. I'm going to type in WBBM. So W. W B B and wait for the click. B B M M confirm. And we'll get please a please wait. wait. Found results. All right. Fourteen. One. A M seven hundred and eighty W B B M News Radio A M seven hundred and eighty dash Chicago's number one source for local news. Oh yeah. Traffic and weather. Now we're Chicago, talking. Chicago, Illinois. All right. So I find my results again. If I hit eight, nothing happens. If you want to move through your list of results, press the six key or the four key to move backward and forward through your list of results. When I get to a radio station I want to play, I am going to press play. That's absolutely right. The key at the bottom between the fast forward and rewind keys, right? Your, your key down there at the very bottom, I'm gonna press play. This radio station will load. The tri-state is solid before, oh, our traffic. Up to before the 83rd now, Street toll plaza. I paused it. Again, we're able to play this radio station while it's playing there are a couple of options. So if I press my bookmark key, so if I press my bookmark key, remember bookmark is above the number three, shaped like a diamond. Add to favorites. We will have an add to favorites option. So if I press confirm, this station will be added to my favorites list. Added to favorites. All right. One. AM 780 WBBM News Radio AM 780 Dash Chicago's number one source for local news. So now. Traffic and weather. That Chicago, Illinois. Is going to be in my favorites list. 
so that I can go back and it's it's saved, right? I don't have to search for it again. You can you can definitely add as many as you want and I'll show you how to remove them as well. But this is where you could add from your search results or once you find a radio station you want, once it is playing, press that bookmark key and then press confirm to add it to favorites. All right, how do we find our favorites? How do we look at them? Well, I'm gonna press the number one, come back to my internet radio bookshelf. Online bookshelves, internet radio, two, playlists, one, favorites. And we hear that once we have a favorites list, the first option here says favorites. So if I press confirm on favorites, two, we it will be placed in the favorites list. So you hear that too is W, I think this is something in Chicago. I think it's a Slavic radio station. Um, if I press my four or six key, I'll move through my favorites. One. AM 670, the score minus 32K. Two. We 1000 ADM. Three. AM 780, WBBM. WBBM News Radio, right. AM 780, so again, dash Chicago's number one source for local news. I use four Traffic and six and weather, to move Chicago, through. Illinois four and six to move through my search results and I press play on the one I want. Once they're playing, so I'm gonna hit play, we're gonna play WBBM again, mainly because I just I just have to, right? Now, once it's Red playing, movement. if I hit want the four key, it will jump to the previous station. Some Polish rock, that's what I'm talking about. Zoom and then teleconference. Eddie Olchek I pressed the four key again and jumped to my first favorite. So while a station is playing, you can also use four and six to move to the next station in your favorites list or in your search results or in, in any playlist you have. Four and six will move you through those stations. Now, let's just say I would never do this, never, ever, ever, ever. But if I wanted to remove WBBM from my favorites, maybe a station went off the air, the format changed. We've all had that happen. We love a station and it goes away, right? We, we grew up with it or we know it and it's just gone, call letters change, station change. Maybe the link broke, maybe it's no longer available through OO tunes. OO tunes. If we wanna get rid of it, we find the station. Two, we want three. AM 780 WBBM News Radio AM 780. Delete station from the playlist. And of course, you know that I pressed the number three because we've learned today that three gives us the options of delete. Three gives us the option to move. Three gives us the various options when we're focused on something, if those options are available. So going to press confirm, and we're gonna remove this. Press the confirm key to confirm or any other key to cancel. Deleted. Two. We 1000 right. ADM. Now it's gone. So again, your internet radio, you can certainly manage those stations. Um, there, are, there are various ways of doing that. And this will help you Tremendously, I, I remember just as a, as a, I'm totally blind. Everyone knows that. But as a kiddo, we grew up with radio. I mean, that's, that was my medium, right? So I'd lay there in my room and listen to radio. When streaming radio became a thing in the late 90s, really in the early 2000s, it was awesome. But when it became something you could put in the palm of your hand, whether it be on a smartphone, uh, we showed how to stream radio on the Braille Note Touch Plus, on a device like the Victor Reader Stream or Trek, it opens up so many doors. Um, and I am somebody who consumes a lot of content through Sonos, through my Trek, through smartphones, through everything. And this has been tremendous. So being able to stream radio stations as I travel um, or, or just being at home and quickly pulling up what's going on or, or listening to maybe some music or whatever it may be is, is tremendous. And we want you to be able to do that. So just showing you some tips and tricks. The final thing I want to talk about is how to change the text entry method. You've all heard that when I enter a, a, you know, a letter, there's a click that I wait for if I want to that I wait for uh, before I enter the next key. And that's a great way to learn. But when you get really fast, you don't wanna wait. You just wanna enter text, even if it's on the same key. So if I wanna enter A and B, I just wanna hit A and then B very quickly. I don't wanna have to wait for the click to enter the next letter. And you can change how you enter text. You can change the text entry method. To do that, we need to be in the offline bookshelves. I'm going to press my key above the number two, that circular shaped key, till I get to my offline bookshelves. Again, if you're on a second gen stream, you'll know you're on your offline bookshelves because it will say notes. Orientation, offline bookshelves, notes, 25. All right. Now, notes. at this point, One. what I'm going to do is I am going to press my seven key and come into the menu. And we will go into, we'll press the seven key until we hear. Menu, navigation and playback, skip, all, language. Text to speech recording. Format SD card. Multi tap text entry method. 
Announce character on each key press, then enter character after pause. So we press seven until we hear the, te the multi-tap tap text entry method. This is set to, to announce each key press and then wait for the click. If I press this, the eight key. Multi-tap text entry method. Announce character on each key press, then enter character after pause. Again, you're going to hear the same thing. So that tells me the six key is going to change the option. So I'm going to press six or four. Announce final character only. Announce final character only. And this means as soon as it announces the character, you can immediately type the next character. If I press six again. Announce character on each key press, then enter character after pause. Again, you have two options. Two options and two options only. I'm going to change it, so I'm going to find the one where it just says announce final character only. Announce final character only. And I'm going to press confirm. Selected. And now I've changed that setting. So I can leave my menu, I can cancel, or I can hit my star key. Leaving menu. And now when I go to search for something, I can enter text faster and I don't have to wait for the click. Again, that is a very, very, very sort of personalized sort of option. If you don't like the way that text is entered, you can change that. That is up to you. Don't do it. If you don't like it, don't do it. If you change it and you think this is awful, I'm entering lots of wrong characters, please change it back. I would strongly encourage if somebody, if this is your first Humanware Live episode, or if this is the first time you're hearing me talk about the Trek and Stream, please go back and listen to the previous episodes where I talk about entering text. I talk about changing the case of the keyboard in terms of uppercase, lowercase, numerics. I talk about how to read what you've entered and how to delete and some of that. So please, please, please um, go back and listen. We, we have these all archived for a reason. All right. I, at this point of the program, um, I think we're going to start to to get to our question Q&A sort of period. Andrew, do you have anything you would like to add on the Victor Reader operation segment of this piece of the puzzle? Hi, Peter. Well, that was well presented. I, I, there was one, one question that uh, has got me thinking, and um, I'm pretty sure the answer is is no, but uh, maybe you can uh, you can just let us know. So, uh, when you're creating, um, or when you're on a radio station and you're able to to save it, uh, is it only the favorites playlist that you have the option, or can you create your own playlists? When you when you save something, it goes into your favorites list. You can create internet radio playlists, uh, which which can be done, but those need to be imported. There, there's a whole process for that, um, but you know that that's for another another time you can't manually if you find a station if you want to put it into a playlist you need to do that in a different a different way so when you favorite something it goes into your favorites list if you have predetermined playlists that you've created which again is a process you need to use a computer you, you can do that and you can import those playlists you know let's say you have one for the the pac 12 college conference all the radio feeds or maybe you have one for uh, the classical stations of the Midwest, for whatever reason, you have maybe 100 classical stations. You can do that, but you need to use a computer. When you're using the device itself, you're going to favorite something, it will go into your favorites list, uh, as okay. I demonstrated. So that's using the Humeware Companion app that will allow you to create your own playlist. So, but, and in, in order to transfer one radio station to another playlist, again, you would need to use the Humeware Companion the app. app. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Great stuff. All right. So let's do, how's the chat looking there? I have JAWS muted. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Uh, so chat is, uh, chat has been enabled. Uh, was it not? No, just double check. <laughs> Certainly Q and A has been there. Uh, yeah, chat is enabled. So a lot of the stuff has been going through Q and A. So um, Awesome. That's great to hear. There. The Q and A, that's good. Is there anything, anything outstanding in there? Any, uh, any uh, ones that we can come in? Um, we so one's just came in and the answer, okay, so is there a fee to listen to the Humanware podcast outside of the stream? So, uh, you can find, I've never looked. I think you can find it on iTunes, um, but I need to look at that because I know it's an RSS feed. So I'm assuming, but I've actually never checked. So I will have to look into that. Do you know, have you looked for it on another catcher? I haven't, no. It's a good question. I have not looked at it on another catcher. Um, so if you have a podcast catcher that you like, uh, which I will do while Andrew's talking, uh, I'll look on a couple podcast catchers very quickly and we'll kind of see what, um, if it is. I, I do not know, but who knows? 
<laughs> if not, we can we can get it on another catcher. If there's a what, what I guess the next step is what is your preferred method for catching podcasts? Um, <laughs> you know, there are so many out there that are. This is again focused on Victor Reader, but if you want our podcast feed on another platform, where do you want it? And that that might we we can try to get it up in different locations. Uh, another question, uh, quickly. That um, I'm pretty sure I answered correctly. The uh, on the stream, the voices that you're using is that Samantha, and then the male voice that you're using is that uh, Graham. Uh, so, so the packages come from our website. If you need to change your voices, all of the packages are on our website under the Victor Reader area. You can choose the different packages and install them. I am using Samantha and Ryan. So, if you oh. press and hold the number seven, you will then be switching between your onboard speech voices. So when I press and hold seven, I move between Samantha and Ryan and your unit, you might move between an English and Spanish voice or French or two English, whatever you want. There are different packages. Yeah, and there's been a few questions um, around the different packages and languages. So if you do want to install a completely different language, as Peter said, you need to go to our website on the support page of the Victory Reader stream, download the package of your choice and you'll notice there'll be various different options from Portuguese to, to Spanish to Arabic even, um, you'll need to install that. And that will change your full system. Okay, so your mm -hmm. full system voice. There are some packages. <laughs> yeah, there, there are some packages that will give you a different language, uh, two sort of slightly different languages. I think there's one like Portuguese in Brazil um, yeah. or, or something like that. So um, certainly be careful on what you install. Uh, if you have installed one of those and you're unsure of how to get back to the English version or U US version, you simply just download the, the US version again and uh, install that. So simply download the file onto an SD card, insert that onto your Victory to Stream, turn your stream on, making sure that it is powered from the, the AC adapter and, uh, and let the stream do its stuff. Exactly. Okay, I've opened up the uh, the raised hands. So by all means, yes. uh, raise your hands. Let's, um, let's do that. And remember, Alt Y if you are on a Windows PC, Option Y if you're on a Mac, and I'm pretty sure, and I can Google it, but I think Star Nine if you're on the telephone. All right, let's fire one off. Let's unmute somebody, Andy, and please, ladies and gentlemen, this is the part of the program where I say. Please keep the questions relevant, please. All right, let's do it. Okay, uh, well, before we just go live on one of the calls, let's uh, just wanna quickly go through some of the chat that's just came in quickly, that's okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's have a look. Uh, how can I download music on an SD card? You would do that from your computer and you would need to transfer that using the computer you know, uh, using the computer. Um, you're going to put that in the VR music bookshelf. Um, that's going to come down to you using your PC or Mac computer. Okay, and a message from Kenneth Kerry. Great intro and great presentation. I learned a lot. And okay, that's the, the chat. So let's go live onto the some calls. Okay, so first one is Mason... Um, the surname is Mason Fezadun. Mason. Think. Or Fezadun, let's say. Mason. All right, am I there? You are. Hello, How Mason. Are right. Sweet. Hi. Um, I had a question that just popped in as I was thinking about it. Um, how do you get? How do you? Um, view your uh, notification, uh, like where you get your notifications, you know, how on the iPhone you have the notification center and uh, everything like that. Is it possible to view it on the Victor Reader? No, there's no notification area. The, no the only notifications you'll get, Mason, are going to be when a podcast downloads, which will be spoken. And then if there's an update available, which also would be spoken. Those are the only real and or if a book is finished downloading you know there's but there's it's it's mainly just telling you that a download has completed not which download because again we we looked into how that could work but we don't want to clutter speech and announcements at the user so mm -hmm. you will be notified when something finishes you will be notified when something downloads but you but there's no way to go and look at the 26 latest podcast feeds that have downloaded and what episodes and all of that stuff right that makes not, sense not at this time okay Thank Thanks, you. Mason. Thanks, man. Uh -huh. 
All right, no problem. All right. Okay, next one then is John Brown. John Brown. Hello, John Brown. You may need to unmute yourself. Remember, um, if you are on a computer, Alt-A will unmute you. Um, if you're looking at your meeting controls, if you're looking at your meeting controls on a BrailleNote Touch Plus or another device, a mobile device, you have an unmute button you will need to locate. Uh, if you're looking at the meeting, now, you got am it. Am I here? You are here, man. Oh, thank you. Um, two questions. Sure. Um, for the Victor Reader stream, uh, the original version, of course, didn't have radio capability. Uh, the chip in that thing was slow as pouring molasses, it <laughs> seems to me. Do uh, Victor Reader uh, stream two uh, and, and the model... Um, with navigation uh, on it, um, do they st do the neural streams still use the same chip, or have they gone to a faster chip? That's a good one. That's a great question. So keep in mind that original stream came out in two thousand seven, I believe, and at that time, it definitely you know when we think of today's standards, was a very you know, it, it would be seen as a very slow chip. Anything that came out in 2007, if you put it in the hands of a tech user today, they'll say, yeah. what the heck is this thing? You know? <laughs> so, yeah. So the, the second gen stream certainly uses a, a, a much better board and the Trek uses a more powerful board than the second gen stream because it has navigation and things. They're, they're, right. And so, yes, it is a, there is a difference in the board that we use and in the speed that it can process information. Absolutely. From the very first generation. Okay. If a person uh, had the original stream, uh, whatever, uh, is there any savings if you go to a higher level stream? So it's a great question. Not at this time. There was, oh. I believe, back when it was launched. So the, the second gen stream came out in 2013. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, we're about seven years in. Um, so not at this time. There are specials, though. There are specials. If you attend conventions um, over the summer, we always announce, you know, we usually have some kind of specials. Of course, that, that, won't be, that won't be possible this year. No, well, we'll still, we're, there still are conventions and we're still participating remotely. So we will be at uh, NFB and ACB. We often try to do specials at times around those. Sometimes, I don't know what they will be this year at all. I have no idea, not even the slightest. Please, nobody out there start asking. But I, I do know that we, we do that. So they're good. They're not always at the, the 395 price. Um, there certainly are dealers that will sell them for less. I'm I'm sure a couple of them may be on this webinar. Um, you know, we, we have, there are ways you can find them for less than that suggested retail price and then specials and things as well. And all right, thank you. Um, and my last question, is there any way to, uh, that radio can pick the audio stream from a TV channel? For example, I would love to be able to get the NASA channel. So it, that is an awesome question. Uh, if the OO tunes, so for instance, there are some TV channels that have audio streams and, and I wouldn't know about NASA. I, it, it's very, very well could be possible. You may have to contact OO tunes, but I will say something like CNN or Fox News or there are some that do contain TV feeds in audio format. That's going to be determined by the OO Tunes um, server. So maybe inquiring or seeing, and you know, and maybe someone out there knows if the NASA channel, uh, I could search for it certainly at some point, but if the NASA channel is available as a stream. I don't know the answer, but is it doable? Yes, but that would have to come from OO Tunes. Uh, all right, thanks very much for your thank, time. Thank and you. It's a, it's a great presentation. Oh, thank you so much, appreciate it. All right, we'll do one or two more, and then we'll we'll get to our drawing, Andrew. Okay, so, uh, so we can give one of these streams away. Okay, on a, a phone, and the area code is eight zero one three five eight zero one three five. Eight zero one. Hello, eight zero one. Hi, my name is uh, Ray Wright, and I'm calling from uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. Awesome. And the Hi, question Ray. I um, well, first the comment. I think the stream is like the best device for any blind person 
It should be mandatory if you go blind, just like a cane. Um, I could not agree with you more. And I'm, and I used it in college and I, I mean, I, I wouldn't have made it <laughs> in a lot of ways without having my books. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, well for, for the price and what it can do. Um, and I, I had a question about the TV um, things too, sure. but also um, suggestion for streaming. Um, if you could go through the Amazon um, Alexa or the Google home or any of the smart speakers that would be great because then that way, like with the Braille Note Touch Plus, you could actually use it and listen to your webinar at the same time to kind of practice what, as you're talking with sure. it. So that's love, just the suggestion I love had. It. Love the yeah, suggestion. suggestion. Well, and that's all I had. But thanks thank you so very much. much for such a great product. Oh, thanks tremendously. Thanks for being here. And I will say you can use, if you have an Amazon device that has Bluetooth, you can Bluetooth your product to the, um, you know, to, to your speaker, if you have the Victor Reader track. So, or if you have a, um, depending on, on what sort of, you know, there are transmitters and things out there, but you can certainly stream your play content from your Victor Reader to a Bluetooth speaker if you have the track. So that is right. But as, option. as you're, as you're playing it, like as I'm listening to your webinar, would I be able to go and try to search for something or try to change a setting on my on my stream or my track? No, it, it is. I, I got what you're saying. You're saying you want background listening. Yes. Uh, yeah. that, so as of right now, and again, it becomes a little tricky because what we want to avoid is uh, having that user you know, one of the major benefits of having a Victor Reader product over using an iPhone, we find, and, and we want to encourage, is you're not bogged down with notifications. And with that, with our, in order to give us the most battery power possible, we keep you in kind of that one track mind, right? Where you're listening to a book, if you leave that book, it's no longer playing. Or if you're listening to a radio station. But I certainly see what, what you're saying. You'd like to be able to have something play in the background and then go and kind of fiddle with things or change settings and so on. So it's certainly something yeah, more, we can take. Yeah, more for your, for your training. But sure. yeah, this is my podcast player. This is my radio. If I hear something going on in the world, I right. can just go in and find that radio station for that part of the world and listen to the local news. Absolutely. Um, and awesome. really find out what's going on. So love it. Well, thank you for awesome. the suggestion and thank you for being here. Thank you. All right. Let's do a couple more, Andrew. Let's do two more and then we'll, we'll draw a price. Maybe okay. three. Uh, we next then we have is Julie Piper. Julie Piper. Are you my bosses? Are you related to my boss? <laughs> my boss are uh, the head of human wear here in the u.s our vp of u.s is rick piper so tell him no i don't think i am <laughs> <laughs> um, okay my question is concerning the references sure when you okay when you go on wiktionary and you said you could save an entry yes. where does it save it saves to the references bookshelf it saves to the references bookshelf. So when you, when I went back to that references bookshelf, you heard it say one file and that is where that is saved. Now you can oh. do the same thing and press three on it once it's been saved and move it to your SD card as well. And it will go into your text oh, files bookshelf. Good. Okay. Okay. That's what I wondered. So it yes. saves like in a text format. It does. So, well, it, it saves it actually it's HTML. Um, okay. It saves the HTML file. So the let's say you have a Wikipedia article or Wiktionary. When you pre when you're in the book, as I demonstrated, you hit three. You you press confirm to save it. It goes into the references bookshelf so that you can find it, and then you you can play it there and leave it there for as long as you want, or you can move it to your SD card with the number three, and then it would go into uh, the text uh, bookshelf there. Okay. Okay. Very good. That this is what I wanted to know. Thank Lovely. you. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. So uh, next one then we have is German Benitez. German All Benitez. Right. Are you there? Oh, there we go. Hello, guys. How's it Great going? Great job. Oh, thank you. Hi, Peter. Great job. I have a question. Sure. Uh, I used, I was able to get the braille monitor in the presidential release mm -hmm. monthly but for the last six months i have not received them 
do you know if there's something wrong with the Bip the Reader string or the NFB? You know, that is something I can certainly look into. So you're not getting, if you're not getting the Braille monitor and the presidential release, you certainly should be. Um, I will, will have to do some looking because that would be specific okay. to the feed. So let me escalate that up and let me, let me dig into it. Can you email uh, humanware live at humanware.com? So that's sure. where we take suggestions for our humanware live and just remind me of that. So I can, uh, you know, just, just say this, you know, I, I had the question about this podcast feed um, and that way I can, I can look into it because okay. otherwise I, I don't want to forget. And I want to make sure the yes, that we're, that those are available. And I don't okay. know if it'd be an issue with on our end or something with the feed itself. It could be the right. feed broke and we just need to tell whomever just to get the feed fixed where the feed may live. <laughs> okay. Thank awesome. you. Great job, guys. Thank you tremendously. Thanks a ton. All right. Okay. So next one we have is um, Jasmine. 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 Jasmine Courtse. Jasmine, you are on the blower. It's all yours. You will have to unmute. We're going to do the going to do the timer. Hello? Oh, you're on. You uh, made it in. You slipped under the wire. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I love this webinar. I think it was a great idea. I, have, I do have a couple of questions. Sure. So my first question is, will you guys be doing a webinar on importing internet playlists? It's certainly a great suggestion. Uh, I can definitely do it. I, I, I think when we get to those types of pieces, Jasmine, it becomes very advanced. So I understand that, you know, we, I want to, when we try to do these, I, I attempt to keep them as middle of the road as possible and not really, but I, I certainly can take that into account and we can look at how to import an internet playlist. One thing I would suggest, there is a Victor Reader user group that you can oftentimes pose these questions Ooh. on and get a great answer for. So that is, if you, you know, it's a groups.io. Um, there, there is a okay. user group out there, which might be another great way. And I know many, many of you probably on this call are members of the list and lots of content right. floats back and forth on the list. Could be a great way before I'm able to get to it to get some answers, uh, Jasmine. Okay, perfect. And then I was wondering, is I know that you guys were talking about the voices earlier on the mm -hmm. stream and your track. Yes. I was wondering, is it possible to download one voice from one uh, package and then another voice from another package? So, so for instance. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. So for instance, like if I want um, the Sharon voice and the Samantha voice. For, for instance, just to say, could I have that? Or like the Sharon voice and another different male voice? So right now, the way the packages work, and, and with text-to-speech voices, it has to do with licensing and the way that they are packaged. So licensing okay. comes from the text-to-speech manufacturer. And when we package those voices, um, we do build the packages. Some have multiple voices, but there's no way to put two packages on at the same time. So right now that is not doable. Um, that doesn't mean that, that it isn't possible. Um, we'd have to look into the licensing and see if let's just say, you know, the, that Samantha and Sharon are able to be packaged within the same sort of, you know, package. Mm -hmm. I, we could certainly do it. Uh, but it would be something that would be, would, we would have to do, and it comes down to licensing and then packaging them together in the software. And I, I think someone needs to write that sort of code and, and get it built. But it, it right now, you're limited to what you have on the website in terms of those packages. So when you see, you know, the, the two voice packages, that is what is available. You can't mix and match. You will get those okay. particular packages. And we've tried to give a good variety, but definitely, you know, it's not a factorial, meaning you can't just do one voice with any other combination right. of another as of right now. Okay. doesn't mean it won't happen, but uh, not yet. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Jasmine. Okay. Quick question that's just came in. Uh, very good question. Can you highlight a segment of a reference like you can in a book? So You certainly can. So when I demonstrated highlight bookmarks, uh, you can certainly do that in a reference. Yes, absolutely. 
So if, remember, if you need to look at, uh, to, to ref reference that, you want to float back to the previous episode. I think, I, I think it was in April when we went over that or somewhere. Um, you definitely want to go back and have a listen to those highlight bookmarks. And maybe you did and you're just saying, can you do it? And yes, you can, yes. Okay. Great stuff. Right. Okay, so is it that time? Is it that I think, time for? I uh... think it's that time. So this is the part of the program where I say, "Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be giving away the final Victor Reader stream of the package." No, it's not the final. Well, it is the final, but not the final prize, right? So Andrew's going to have a drum roll, which he does have, and then we're going to give away a Victor Reader stream. You do need to be here, so hopefully you're here. Final, but not the final prize, right? So well, uh, Andrew's going to have a drum roll, which he does not have, below. and then we're going to give away That's a Victor happening. Reader stream. You do need to be here, so hopefully you're oh, here. <laughs> we're going to but not the final prize, <laughs> right? So well, oh, That's Andrew's going to have a drum roll, roll which he does <laughs> have, and then we're going to give away a Victor Reader <laughs> stream. You do need to be here, so hopefully you're here. We're going to not the final prize right so oh, that's yeah, Andrew's yeah, gonna yeah, have a drum roll yeah, which he does have and then we're going to give away a victor reader stream you do need to be here so <laughs> hopefully you're here you we're gonna have... hey guy holy cow all right so we just had about 12 uh somehow 12 of the previous like four sentences i spoke started playing uh we're gonna try this again so andrew is going to share his screen and play a drum roll we're going to draw a winner hopefully not have uh that was wild. I heard myself about five times, um, but hopefully not have that. No one needs to go through that again. And uh, we're going to then we're going to then draw a winner. So you do have to be here. We will un we're going to lower everyone's hand. So please don't raise your hand because if you are present and you want to talk to us, we want you to raise your hand. If you feel like speaking with us and saying, hey, if not, we totally understand and we'll be in touch with you. All right, Andrew. Okay, let me, just, um, let me share my screen Here to we us. Go. We Is want you to raise you? your nope. hand if nope. you feel Un like speaking with us Unshare. and saying, hey, <laughs> if not, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on there. We gotta, that is some Zoom wildness going <laughs> Fair on. Enough. All right. Okay, so let me have so a look. So, not, um, we're not going to do a drum roll because when Andrew shares his screen, <laughs> we get some sort of sound loop. So, that just right. coming from you? It's, I'm not getting I, that same, same loop. So, uh, it's going crazy on my end. I don't know why. Okay. So. Okay, no problem. Well, so you you can do a sort of auditory drum roll yourself then, if you I'll like. I'll do a, a kettle <laughs> drum roll. So, boom. yeah. All right. Okay, Fire. so the winner I can see is actually not labelled here. The name's not here, but it may be that you're on a call. So I'm going to ray, um, lower everyone's hands. Okay, so everyone's hands have now been lowered. Uh, so Oscar, please uh, lower your hand. Thank you. Uh, so. The winner is Kim Ferguson. So Kim, Kim Ferguson, Ferguson if, are you if you are on your phone, I'm assuming if you, if you are here, you'd be on your phone. Uh, raise your hand. And we're going to give you 10 seconds to do that. And how do you raise your hand, uh, Peter? What's the... Star nine. And I will look that up to guarantee. We're going to give you until I figure out that that is actually correct. <laughs> So there's 12 uh, phone calls uh, listening in. So moving very quickly because I cannot remember the. Uh, it is. Uh, where is Zoom phones? Yes, star nine. All right. So Kim's not here. So winner number two. Okay. Winner number two. Winner number two is here is here yes okay and the winner is cheryl bitten cheryl bitten cheryl if you are here uh, well you are here if ah oh, there goes your hand there cheryl, if, if, so you are here uh we're, if you want to unmute yourself and say hi um if you don't we understand we can be kind of intimidating um i know hi. we're scary how's it going Hi, it's Cheryl. Going great. I'm excited. I'm very excited. We're excited too. Where are you at, Cheryl? I'm in North Carolina, Raleigh, North Falls. Carolina. Awesome. Well, congratulations. We, uh, you are the fifth 
winner of our five Victor Reader stream. So it will get you a second gen stream to you. You don't know and how bad I wanted that. I was just hoping the whole time I was going to win. Thank well, you. Well, that's why you showed up. <laughs> yeah. Andrew, Andrew, believe it or not, actually has the ability to keep, because see, this is, it's a special talent. He, the reason why he's a product manager is he generally knows what people are thinking. And that's how he gets ideas put across <laughs> and things like that. So he knew you wanted to win. I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. We will we'll be in touch with you via email, the email that you used to register. Okay. And we'll, we'll get your info and we will get you your second generation stream. Thank you very much. Thank Shut you, up. Cheryl. Thank Have you. Have an awesome day. You too. Awesome Friday Eve. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. No Bye-bye. All right. Bye. So Cheryl's our winner. So Andrew, we had, we had Alabama, we had Oregon, we had Ohio. In North Carolina, and the first person we didn't talk to because the first person, you know, I either couldn't unmute or didn't feel like it. So we don't know where they were. Hopefully, they were somewhere in a, in another country. I think we didn't have any international winners yet. I know they're here, but the Try luck it. of the draw. However, everybody, we will have prizes um, next week. We will have a prize. I we don't know what that prize will be. We need to determine that. Andrew and I are going to have a meeting of the minds. Um, we did have these streams. We may have a stream. We, we don't know. We will have a prize. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what goes on. Um, Andrew, let's unmute a couple. Let's do, let's do one or two more questions and then we're going to call it a, call it a, call it a day. So oh, all Y okay. to raise your hand. Option Y on a Mac. Star nine, if you are on the telephone. Okay. So we have Theo. Hello, Theo. Theo, you are on. Well, well, I'm quite sad I didn't win, but I'm excited there's another chance next week. Oh, yeah, dude. Well, it's, it's so exciting. It's so exciting <laughs> to do prize draws now. We love it. We're going we're gonna to do them. We're going we're gonna to keep, uh, keep the prizes yeah. alive. Well, oh, I have we a can question. Try. Sure. Sure. It was about the, when, when our last Thursday, because I was just connected, because I was in the car trying to connect. It, it was about why why does there have to be a different thing called password braille for entering your unlocked password why can't it just be normal computer braille like it was on the old touch uh, well, that'll so that'll have to do with just the way that um the the pin method works so we we did discuss it so if you listen to the archive from two weeks ago uh we talk about that and that you do yeah you need to navigate through and utilize the uh the pin um, as opposed to using, unless you use a password, then you can just use computer bro. So there's no rhyme or reason. It's just the way so, that so the I, system works. So I, ha I have used the password rather than a pin, but it still says password entry well is required. And it does say it's not computer well in, in the user guide. But So standard braille that touch was computer well, but in the touch plus I said, I, I typed the password in computer well and my QTV, I couldn't unlock my touch because I told the password I typed it in computer well, but actually it turns out <laughs> it was in password well. So yeah. Ten of the dots combinations, and she said, "Oh, your password is this combination of random symbols, Theo." Right, right, ah, right. Yeah, we right. and we can look at that. I would, I would definitely. Um, I mean, I'd, I'd recommend you know using the password option, and we can, we can look in to see why that might be. But it should, it's, it yeah, is a standard. There's but only so I think also discovered that in your manual it does say that it's not computer well, and I was wondering why. Uh, that probably just means we need to fix our manual. And Andrew, yeah. you're the product manager, man. Yeah, that's something. Uh, yes. Andrew, I'm no, going to so have to have a look at that. Class, it also says <laughs> that when you're setting your password, and it also looks like it's true. There's a whole other Braille code just for entering your password, it says. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll, assess, yeah, we'll, we'll have to check assess that, that out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks, Theo. Thanks for letting us know. All right. <laughs> okay, next one then is we have. Um, let's have a look. We have. Mary, Mary Carla Hayes. Mary Carla Hayes, you are on. Okay, webinar. Are you? you can hear me? Yes. All right, oh, superb webinar. Although I gotta say I had a terrible time getting in today. That's why I was late and I didn't get a registration link this time even though I registered. But anyhow, um, um, first of all, I was uh, the person that was looking for NASA radio might try typing in Third Rock Radio because that's what it comes up on in Alexa. So you can try that. But my question is, has there ever been, is there a way of adding other um, radio station platforms like iHeart and Radio One, you know what I mean, Radio.com and things like that? So there, there I mean, and, and we have, Andrew, how long? Do you think if you were to look at the bucket list or the suggestion list for the stream, how long do you think that is? 
at the moment, I think it's around about 29, isn't it? 20. <laughs> so the point at the point that I'm getting at Mary Carla is, is that we, we have lots of suggestions and we, we would love to implement not just, you know, there are so many things that people want. Um, that comes from, you know, us building, you know, th the access to something like Sirius XM or something like iHeart or something like t tune in or something like, uh, uh, you know, um, any of those besides OO tunes. As of right now, the OO tunes is there. If, if there's a station you would like them to get, you, you can certainly reach out. They're very responsive at OO tunes. Um, what's, can, the, what's the way to do that? Um, you would go to the OO tunes website and there is a, I believe there's an email address um, that you can even email or contact us and you can suggest radio stations for certain because sometimes links break as well. So you would want to go through that platform, much like the same was true for any of these. I mean, if, if, if an iHeart radio stream is broken, you would go through I, the iHeart radio, you know, or radio.com website or something and, and make that suggestion. So um, in terms of us adding the other services, it would come down to the developing side and getting those in. I know that there are things on the radar uh, I'm not a developer and I'm not, uh, I'm not on that side of things, but that's where that would come from. So yes, it is, it has been definitely asked for. Um, but I would suggest if there's a sp specific sa station that you're not getting, I'd strongly recommend going through OO tunes and requesting that particular station and checking to see if it can be done for you. So that's O O T U N E S dot com. Uh, yeah, I would yes. Google OO tunes. Yes. yes. It's O O T U N E S dot com. Okay, thank you very much. And by the way, superb webinars. I'm loving these. We are glad you're here. Thank you for being here. So thanks a lot. All right, one more, Andrew. One final question. Okay, so Who it's going to be... will it be? So we're going to go with... Um, this is someone new here. Um, and apologies on, on the pronunciation here. When we Fisher. When we Fisher? You for sure. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. You pronounce my name Wenwei. 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 Awesome. Okay. Being here. <laughs> I had a question. Um, it was. It's kind of related to Mary's question. Um, is accessing Amazon content on your radar? Because I was just recently made aware of the stream and would like a dedicated reading device because I consume a lot of content. Right. Um, on digital library loans through Overdrive and Libby. Um, and I just don't really want to be on my phone all the time. So I was yeah. wondering if that was- anywhere. No, it's, it's an awesome question. And that's why we build the product. I mean, we there is a tremendous benefit for using it as opposed to your phone. And I'm an iPhone user and, and I use mm -hmm. all that stuff. But yeah. when you get, A, you're draining battery, B, you're just, you know, you know you're just getting notifications all the time. Phone all the time. It's yeah. just annoying. And lots of stuff. So Andrew, what are your answer? What's your answer there, my friend, Mr. So, product manager? So you want to, so you want to be able to connect to have uh, Alexa skills on the device. Is that right? Is that um, Alexa skills, or like log into my Kindle. Kindle. Yeah, or it is. Overdrive it's a, account. Yeah, I guess this is a, a big thing that a lot of people now are, are asking for, such as things like Spotify, access to sort of Zoom on the device. Oh, yeah, obviously, when so. we, yeah, obviously, as we act, as we developed this product, we developed it um, you know, back in 2014. Mm -hmm. So at that point, you know, the Alexa and, and Home Hub wasn't that significant. It wasn't that huge. It wasn't you know, in the radar of a lot of people. And so only in the recent years, I would say a good sort of three plus year, three, four years, it's becoming a big thing. Um, yeah. So it would mean that, you know, it need to have a re a redevelop program or project on this. So, but in terms of the, the content, right? Overdrive, Kindle, that sort of stuff is with the server. I mean, there are ways that we, we're aware of, you know, that people want that type of digital book content, forgetting, mm -hmm. forget the, the, the Alexa skills and stuff, just the actual, right that book, you know, Webby and all those, those online libraries is certainly right. something we'd love to provide access to as we go forward. Um, and that's, it's definitely on our radar as of right now. I mean, you're, you're able to play different formatted books. So, you know, you can play um, Daisy books, right. If you have, or, or books like that, but we're, we need to, 
we need to do some some yeah. looking into some of those other online libraries for sure. But unfortunately, you're not able to independently download content if you're borrowing it and sort of right. yeah. put mm -hmm. it on your device. OK, cool. Well, I guess you would notify us when. Oh, absolutely. Definitely. We will, we will certainly do that. And thanks so much for showing on up. <laughs> and thank you for answering my question. Oh, sure. Thank you. Oh. All right. That's that. That's a wrap. I got to eat lunch. You got to eat dinner. <laughs> um, no, thank you everybody for being here. It's much appreciated. We will be back. Uh, I know there has been some concern. I, I heard, I think Mary Carla brought it up. If you don't receive a confirmation link when you register for, we do not send that email. That is sent by Zoom. So please, if you don't have a confirmation email when you register, you need to either re-register or check your spam folder, check your clutter folder. Your email address, if it is entered incorrectly, it's going to go to whatever has been entered. So when you register for the webinar, we Humanware does not send that link. That does not come from Humanware. That is generated by Zoom. So please, we cannot help you get that link. So please re-register if you don't have a confirmation and you will receive a confirmation link. And we can, we know you will because there are hundreds of, uh, hundreds of people that do attend. So <laughs> if you're not getting it, it is something to do with your email that either you entered or it could be your filter. So please check your spam folder, check your clutter folders if you have them. Maybe you have a filter or if you totally just don't see it, you should receive it immediately upon registering. If you don't see it, please re-register. Hey, well, I've got to shoot off now, Peter, because my little boys just said it is ready. <laughs> All right, I knew it. Thanks, friends. We'll see everybody. <laughs> Casper's on the on the on the on the brawler. We'll see everybody next week. Okay, take care, everyone. And remember, you need to register. <laughs>